Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at receiving notifications from Home Assistant using Pushbullet. Okay, so the first thing we need to do in order to get Pushbullet set up is to go ahead and create a Pushbullet account. Uh, this is just at www.pushbullet.com. Again, a link will be in the description. Um, so just go ahead and create an account and just go through uh, the normal steps of creating an account on any website. And I'll come back once I've done that. Okay, once we're all set up in Pushbullet and we have our, uh, the app installed on our smartphone as well, we can see it's recognized that we've also signed in on our phone. The next step is to get our API key. To do that, we go to settings and scroll down to access token and create access token. And we get our API key here. Now I will blur this out um, because I don't want everyone to be able to send me notifications. Um, but this is our uh, access key here and we can just copy and paste that into our Home, of Home Assistant configuration file. Okay, so next step is to head over to our configuration.yaml file. Uh, so we'll head over there now. And we're gonna open this in Notepad++ as always. Okay, here we go. And we're just gonna add to the bottom of our configuration here. And we're going to start with Notify. And our platform. So our platform here is Push Bullet. And our API key. Our API key we're going to hide in the secrets folder, um, like we looked at in uh, our storing secrets video. I'll try and remember to put a card for that up in the corner now. So if you don't know how to use that, you can go and have a look there. And I will call this secret, I'm just going to call it push bullet. Okay, so we can go ahead and save that. Now I'm just going to add the API key to my secrets folder, so I'm going to pause the video just now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added the API key to the secrets folder. So because we've made some changes to our configuration file, I'm going to go into the Home Assistant user interface and head to Configuration General to validate our configuration. And you can see I do have a problem here, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out what that is and come back to you. Okay, now you can see that we have a valid configuration. I'll show you what my problem was. Uh, here, I had not put a space between the hyphen and platform. Uh, and as a result, this uh, API key was also a space over towards the, uh, towards the left. I did say in one of my last videos that uh, these .yaml files can, are quite sensitive to the spacing that you use. So this is the correct spacing here and now we get a valid configuration. So we'll just double check, click that again. Yeah, valid configuration. So we're going to go ahead and restart Home Assistant and I'll come back once that is done. Okay, here we are back after our restart. Now we can go ahead and test to see if Pushbullet is working before we go and look at an automation. And the best way to do that is go to this little remote button over here and in our service we're going to select uh, push bullet, uh, notify .push bullet. and then in order to send a message what we're going to do is put our brackets in here and within here we are going to go message And then just go, this is a test. And you can see that this text is valid. So the call service uh, button has come on. Press call service. 
and I've just got that notification through to my phone so we know that push bullet is up and working so let's have a look at uh, putting that into an automation so what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the light sensor again that we put together in our last video and we're going to just use that to run this automation however you could send a, a notification to your phone for anything that happens in home assistant whether that be someone connecting to your network meaning that they're home so for example if your uh, child's phone connects to the wi-fi you get a notification letting you know they're home safe um, or you know if a, a certain light gets turned on or a door gets opened or you could say if your if your phone leaves the network and one of the window sensors is still open, you get a notification to say you've left a window open. Again, possibilities are really endless with automations. Uh, however, let's go into automations and we'll select the plus button. And we're just going to call this, uh, we'll just call a push bullet. The reason I keep mistyping things in these videos is my microphone is between me and the keyboard and it's just not a normal way to be sitting to type. Um, anyway, so we're going to go uh, just like we did in our last video when we looked at the light sensor. We're going to trigger our automation based on a numeric state and that numeric state is going to be of our light sensor. And we're going to say when our light sensor is below 100 it's going to be our trigger because I know if I put my finger over the light sensor it goes well below 100 and then the actions so we're going to call a service and we're going to search through for notify.pushbullet which is here and then we're going to do a similar setup to what we did to oops, uh, test so we're going to go message and then we're going to say something like the office is dark because this light sensor is in my office. Going to come down and do that and you can see the red box from around the service data has disappeared meaning that the text inside of the box is valid so we can go ahead and click save and on here we can make our automation show here by heading over to configure user interface and we'll edit our automations and it's push bullet save so now we have our push bullet notification we've just made in our, uh, in our automations box here that means we can trigger it automatically to test it by hitting the trigger button here however what I'm going to do is put my finger over the light sensor and make this light value here go below 100 and hopefully I will get a notification uh, so let's give that a try I'm going to take up to 20 seconds to change the value on the light sensor. Yep, there we go. And I have just got a notification to my phone. Um, so let's set the camera up so I can show you all of that uh, in action a wee bit better. Okay, it's kind of difficult to get all of this in shot. Uh, but here in hand, I have my smartphone. Um, and here is the light sensor down here and we can see a home assistant running in the background there So I'm going to go ahead and put my finger over the light sensor and hopefully we'll see The notification just came through there. That was quite quick um, So if we go ahead and just click on the notification we can see there home assistant has said the office is dark and uh, that's it for this video. You could, uh, of course, do anything with this, any sort of automation you can add notifications to now. If you have found this video useful, please do go ahead and subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, it means a lot when I get subscriptions. Uh, please also consider liking and commenting. I'm going to leave some links in the description to my Patreon page as well as an Amazon wish list. And thanks for watching.